What's up y'all? In this video I'm going to show you how to make this stylish industrial decor two towel rack using half inch black pipe that you can just buy at your local hardware store. The parts we're going to need for this project include two flanges, four elbows, two couplings, two T's, six pipes that are two inches in length, and four that are ten inches in length. We're also going to use eight mollies and eight screws to anchor the rack into the bathroom wall. First thing we need to do is wipe off as much dirt and oil off of these pieces as possible. They do come off the shelf pretty dirty. Next thing we want to do is give them a nice thick coat of clear rust-oleum or really any color that you want to use in your bathroom. Unfortunately this pipe is pretty subject to rusting. I'm just going to use the clear coat because I like the way it looks and I'll see what happens over time. If I do get any rust spots I can always just use some CLR and that should come right off. Alright it's time for the fun part now and that is to finally assemble this thing. Let's start off with our two flanges and go ahead and put in our two two inch pieces into those and uh, we'll set those aside for a moment. Next we're going to grab a T, go ahead and put another 2 inch into one of those. Connect an elbow to the other side of that 2 inch. So you have your T that is going to be pointing horizontal and your elbow is going to be vertical pointing down. And then we're just going to set that aside and go ahead and duplicate that process for the other side of the towel rack. So now we have two sides of the towel rack done. Let's go ahead and grab one more of our two inch pipes. And we're going to grab another elbow and uh, go ahead and put it on the bottom of that. Tighten it up nice and snug and make sure that it is pointing the same direction as the T. Now we'll just grab the other arm that we started and repeat that process putting in the two inch on the elbow and then the final elbow on the bottom of that two inch and we will have two completed sides of this towel rack. Next I'm going to grab one of our 10 inch pipes and put some contact cement on the threads of both sides of it. I'm going to grab one of the arms of the towel rack now and screw the 10 inch pipe into the T of the arm and then grab a coupling and screw that into the other side of the 10. I'll go ahead and grab another 10 and coat these threads with the adhesive then screw that onto the coupling. At this point I want to avoid over tightening since this is going to be a closed loop basically meaning at some point when it's all put together we'll be tightening one joint and another joint will be loosening at the same time. At this point I'm going to switch arms and grab another 10 and once again of course coat the threads up with adhesive. Then I'm going to put that 10 inch onto the elbow of the right arm. I'm going to take our final coupling and put that at the end of the 10. And this is going to be the time to start really over tightening because later we're, I'm going to need to loosen it a bit in order to close the loop that I was mentioning earlier, which is the main reason to use the adhesive in the first place. That way, you know, if somebody goes to grab the towel off the bar, uh, maybe the towel's wet, uh, they pull it off and there's not going to be any movement in the arms. Now I'm going to take the final 10 and screw that into the elbow of the left arm and try to get that as tight as humanly possible. And after that, it's time to connect the two arms together, starting with the top bar. I don't need to over tighten this joint because I'll need room to connect the lower coupling in a moment. Now I'm just about ready to finish this thing off. There's really only one connection left to be made, at least for the hard part. But before that, I want to make sure all the angles are good first with the arms. 
You know, so it's got to be nice and plumb for this to look good and hang right on the wall. Going to carefully line this coupling up with the crossbar. Uh, should just have to get a few rotations to catch the threads. And once the adhesive is dried up, uh, that will prevent any additional rotation in the, in the bars. At this point, it may be necessary to do some adjustments just to make sure that these couplings are lined up. Uh, you want those right in the middle of the rack. So everything looks good to me. The angles are good. The bars are straight. The couplings look centered for the most part. All that's left to do is to put the flanges on the back of the towel rack and uh, it's going to be just about ready to hang on the wall. An important note here would be to make sure you line up the flange so you can give yourself room to uh, drive the screws into the wall. Now that I have it all assembled, I'm happy with it, it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and put another coat of Rust-Oleum just to be on the safe side. I think it's good, I think it's ready to go on the wall. Let me take a moment right now, I want to remind you to subscribe if you're watching this video. I would really appreciate it. The easiest thing to do would probably be to pop one of these flanges off, kind of figure out where you're going to put it. I can kind of use where the old rack was as a little bit of a guide, but it's not exactly the same. So I'm going to say I'm going to probably start this right around here. Go ahead and mark this off. Now I know where to drill my first four holes. Since this is going to be on drywall, I'm going to go ahead and grab some anchors that I had laying around. And now I'm going to do my best to get this perfectly level while I mark off my other side. There you have it everybody, that's the uh, towel rack. Two towel rack. Industrial decor.